Hey guys, A Satan here, and today I'm gonna show you how to tie in your Facebook business page to your high level um, page and account. So we're gonna kind of go over how to tie in that um, Facebook ad. That way, your ad and lead gen comes into high level, um, and it alerts your client. Or we can set it to go into a custom pipeline and trigger some things if we wanted to. Also, what I like to do is I have all my clients on Slack, and so I'm gonna send in notifications to their Slack group as well. So let's get into that. All right, so we are here inside of our high-level account, and then we're inside our Facebook business account. If you don't know how to get to this, um, it's just business.facebook.com, and this is one of our clients. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a ad. So this is gonna be a Legion ad, and we're just gonna put this in as uh, September Legion. That's what I like to do, and I'm just gonna copy and paste it into all of these. Hey, continue. And publish. There we go. So we got that form. Remember what the name is September Legion ad. All right. And these. There you publish. All right. So publishing this ad. There we go. So now we're going to go into the high level account right here. We're going to go down to settings and we're gonna to go to Facebook form field mapping. So it says, uh, set to religion at the high level. I just put that on there. And then so we can make um, custom fields. So I'll put our best time to contact. Only phone number, email, CD, there we go. And it says right here, best way to reach you. So I'm gonna add a custom field for that one. back here and let's just make sure and update that so now we have the forms mapped so the next thing is we want to add triggers or a campaign so I'm gonna do triggers and we're gonna do it called like a new lead in and call it um, September lead gen I like to call it lead in that way I know what it's doing I should save and this is so right in this drop down box. You're gonna make sure you hit Facebook. Choose trigger. Facebook lead form submitted. Add filter. And then in form. Uh, form is September Legion. Hit action. So this is now what we want high level to do for us. So I'm gonna choose add or update opportunity into our pipeline, which is our leads. Stage is a new lead. Um, opportunity source, I'm just gonna put Facebook lead form. September lead form, that way I know. And then select status, I'm just gonna put open. And I'm gonna allow them to do this. I'm adding another action. So what I like to do is have it um, even text or email my clients. So I'm just gonna have it to here, go down to send SMS. And then you can put in whatever number you want. I'm gonna put in, hey, you got a new lead. And then we're gonna put in the contact full name. There we go. So that way the client will get this text message with this information and he'll have the lead so he can call or text right from his phone. I'm hit save. 
Actually, first you need to activate, uh, and I'm just gonna put in my number in there, activate and save. And there we go. So now we have that lead in coming in and we're adding an opportunity and we're getting a notification. So we can even go as far as adding them to a campaign. So if you have a campaign, just hit add action, choose action, add to a campaign, and select a campaign. If, if you already have a campaign made, this client doesn't have a campaign yet, which we will be doing in the future. But now we have the lead coming in and the contacts getting them. That way the contact can take it on his own time to follow up with them um, and go forward. Um, and we, we will make a campaign for this client as well in the future. But we can also, while we're here, is set up a Slack notification, which is what I like personally. So we're gonna go to Zapier. We should be able to have it go into here. Oh, okay, they changed their name officially to Lead Connector. That's fine, choose Event. And we can do Pipeline Change right here. You wanna make sure you have your API. So we're gonna go back into here, to this client's API, go Settings, and then we're gonna uh, copy this API code right here. And pull up where that And then there are a lot of leads, and then we're gonna put new lead, hit continue. We can test it, make sure it's getting the lead. There we go. Hit continue. Now I want to go to Slack. And this and say send channel message. So I'm gonna do that. And I already have my Slack tied into here. Pick a channel. I'm gonna get that client's channel. And then I can actually just go back into here to my triggers and just copy and paste that message. So uh, it's bot, yes, and we can just call it lead connector. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, schedule at thread, choose value, broadcast the channel, yes. And make sure that this, all the options I need in there, I believe it is. We're gonna hit continue. And then I'm gonna do a test and review. So I'm gonna pull up that client Slack. And then bam, it says, hey, you got a new lead. First name, last name. So this will be auto-generated with their information once we have it in there, um, which we don't have that right now. So I'm gonna turn on the zap. And bam. So that was basically it. And so all we did today is we made that Facebook advertising for that lead gen to pull in from that Facebook form into high level so that our client or you could get notifications or you can trigger campaigns if you wanted to when that new lead comes in. We also tied in our Slack using Zapier so that we get notifications through that app. Just it's nice to have in case, you know, something goes wrong with the phone um, or anything like that. We know we have it in there and we do it for our clients so that we know that our clients are getting those leads, they're good leads and they're following up with them. Um, that's just what we do here at our business. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave a comment below, let us know. Um, we hope to make some more of these high level uh, and marketing type of videos. So let us know what you think and thanks again guys for watching.